Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the SyncWire USB Type-C to USB Type-A 3.0 adapter, and this is a two-pack. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to this in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So this came with two adapters. There's two different colors. There's kind of a silver and a dark gray. So these are metal construction. So the shell of this is metal. And of course the connector plug is metal. We have USB-C here. And then you can plug USB-A into it. Here's the other one. So these feel very sturdy. I think these will last a long time if you take good care of them. So these are compatible with a variety of different computers. The system I'm going to test it on today is a MacBook Air with M1 processor, but these would also work with Chromebooks, Windows, other Macs. You could use these on tablets like the iPad or Android tablets or phones that use USB-C. So these are handy devices to add legacy USB-A support to devices that only have a USB-C port. So if we look at the package here, we have a connector A type C male, and a connector B is USB 3.0 female. This supports USB 3.0 data transmissions, and it has an LED to indicate connection status. So this is the computer I'm going to be testing it with. Here we have two USB-C ports. One is used by the power cord, so I'll plug the adapter into the other port, like so. So now we've added a USB-A port to this computer. And actually, I'll unplug this and see if this will fit in here, like so. I'm not going to plug it all the way in, but you can see you could put both of these in here if you needed two USB-A ports. So I'm going to try some different devices here. Here I have a flash drive in a USB enclosure, and this has a USB-C interface on it, but it also came with a cord with the USB-A interface. So I'm going to be testing that. So I'll plug that in. I'll open up a speed test. and I'll run that. So here we're getting around 700 megabytes per second and 800 megabytes per second. So we're getting about 700 megabytes per second write and about 850 read. So that was actually similar speed that I was getting with the USB-C interface. So this adapter doesn't appear to be slowing this down at all. Next, I'll just try a regular flash drive. So there seems to be more friction here between these two components than this and the computer. So when I unplugged it, it unplugged all of this. So I'll plug that in. So this is going to be quite a bit slower because this drive is slower. So we're getting about 10 megabytes per second write speeds and 30 megabytes per second read speeds. Of course, you can also connect this up to a card reader. So this is getting to be a little bit bulky here and could kind of run into this power adapter. Of course, I could switch the positions here so the power adapter is in the other port and I didn't eject the other one properly. That doesn't surprise me. So here we can access this drive. So it seems to have pretty good drive support. Next, I'll try this network adapter and this just happens to be made by SyncWire also. So I'll go into my system preferences here. I'll go into network, and here we have the network, and it's connected already. So that was pretty seamless. So this would work well if you need to add a network connection to your laptop. Next, I have this keyboard here, and it has a little dongle to connect. So I'll plug that into the adapter. And that is working. And here we have the keyboard set up. So that is the SyncWire USB-C to USB-A 3.0 adapter. I think this is a versatile little adapter. I like that it came with two in the package. That way you can keep one at your desk, one in your bag. I think this is handy just to carry around with your laptop. This would be very useful to carry even if you don't expect to use a USB-A device. This is a nice alternative to carrying a larger dock type device. So this is a handy device to add some legacy functionality to your newer devices. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.